Social media has been a buzz lately about the asteroid. Have you seen the post about it coming right at us? Remember, it's widely believed the dinosaurs were wiped out by an asteroid. So what do you say, John Shumway? Are we all in trouble this morning? Where's Bruce Willis when we need him? <laughs> right. No, I would say no. Even the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park would survive this one, I think. This time around, there is no question the asteroid known as 2018 VP1 is indeed coming right at us. So, Carissa Cedor at the Buell Planetarium, could it hit us? The answer is kind of yes. Uh, there is an asteroid that is projected to cross the orbit of the Earth. Uh, but it is not probably going to hit us. All right, so how big of an asteroid are we talking about? Is this the movie Armageddon come to life? <laughs> uh, so not quite. So this asteroid in particular is about two meters wide. So it's about the size of a refrigerator. Um, and that is actually a pretty small object. So why is everybody getting so up in arms about this thing? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with um, you know, current events, uh, because in particular, this asteroid is projected to have its closest approach on November 2nd, which is a big night uh, <laughs> for a lot of reasons. All right, Carissa, if it does hit uh, our atmosphere, what something that size, what's going to happen to it? So believe it or not, objects of that size tend to mostly break up in our atmosphere. Our atmosphere does a really great job of protecting us. Um, it's very thick, it's very dense. So objects hitting our atmosphere, uh, at, especially at high speeds, encounter a lot of friction in the atmosphere. And that friction causes their surfaces to literally boil, to vaporize. Even an object of this size will burn up in our atmosphere high up. So the only thing that we might see is, is a really bright light show for, for a quick moment, and then it'll be gone. Now, the date of the arrival is election eve. <laughs> As I was reassured, we will not be needing helmets that night. But Heather, remember, <laughs> this is 2020, the year of unpredictability. Who knows one might happen? I, you know, honestly, when you look back, we started this year with uh, the wildfires in Australia. Oh, yeah, that's Do right. Remember? I mean, really, this year has been just one big roller coaster. Well, okay, that was one. a nice way to put it, but okay. That is, it's, yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that is probably the nicest way you could put it. All right, Sean, thanks so much for your insight into that this morning. Sure.